All right, welcome back. Another episode of Seven Days. We just did a sell off. We got almost a hundred thousand dukes from it. Um, but uh, it is now time to not necessarily abandon this space. I am going to leave it the way it is. It is definitely. Uh, oh, the, wow, this, these things need repairs, huh? Let's interact with the shotgun, so that's good to go. Let's go ahead and take it. We are going to take literally every single shotgun turret and smg turret with us because today is uh horde base upgrade day uh i'm gonna pick up the sledge as well um we might as well go ahead and get rid of this and we need to repair this bad boy right here come on oh we don't need to repair it good so we'll take that. But yeah, um, we got a decent amount of money. Let's see. Let's repair this uh, auto turret. All right. Good to go there. We will take that. And then we are going to pick up. Ooh, and let's go ahead and pick up the lantern as well. But got everything we need there. Uh, but as you can see, we have... 200,000 dukes just sitting here doing nothing. We've got almost enough scrap schematics to make two HD workbenches. We found a level 5 sniper, which finished that off for us, which is actually pretty cool because, you know, we have this uh, very, very nice HD sniper rifle. And it actually... <laughs> I love blowing zombies' heads off. It's awesome. Um, I like this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the HD Colt for now. Um, realistically, we finished everything we've wanted to. Uh, however, there is uh, after I finish the uh, horde base, which depends on how long it takes me. I really hope it doesn't take an ultra long time. We are going to do a massive overhaul on the uh, the horde base. It's probably going to take multiple days. I'm not going to show you everything in the middle unless something really weird happens. But uh yeah. We uh we're going to we're going to do some massive overhauls uh f hopefully with the time we have left there are the reason why we crafted the uh the HD uh, hazmat items is so we can go into areas that uh, and now we need to make another one of those hold on just a second I, I did that because I want to be able to move around stuff uh, at the new base or at the new horde base so land claim Oop, land claim there we go craft all right uh, I believe I have everything we need, and if we don't, I will helicopter back. But uh, there are heavily radiated POIs that have lots and lots of yield uh, as far as items go. And so the plan is get this new horde base taken care of as quickly as possible, but the way I want it with hopefully enough time to finish one of those uh, POIs before Horde Night. And uh, it would be really unfortunate if I could only get part of the way through and then Horde Night started. So I'm going to hope that uh, we'll be able to find one and finish it uh, quick enough. But if not, um, I will create a... Uh, uh, not an ending episode, but like a... Uh, an additional, uh, hey, just so you can see the uh, hazmat stuff in action because, you know, we wanted to make it for a reason. We wanted to be able to utilize it. Um, we'll finish Horde Night. That'll be the end of the series since we did uh, manage to do everything that I wanted. But uh, I'll have an uh, extra episode just to, to show you one of those POIs, uh, just to see what it looks like in there going through everything guns blazing all of the fun stuff so all right let's uh let's get this horde base 
made note it is day 47 about, probably about 10 30 by the time i land let's see how long it takes to get it the way i want all right well um didn't need the 44 magnum ammo anymore it's just nice to have the gun sure but uh and it has six bullets so it will always look menacing but we really didn't need it and i needed to come back here for some more uh forged steel and to make you know get some more iron so i can make some more while i'm gone because we are going to be going through a decent amount of forged steel fortunately i was able to pick up those 100 steel cubes however we disassembled oh, almost 8,000 uh, ammo worth of 44 Magnum, and uh, we got a lot of uh, uh, we got a lot of resources from that. And so we're gonna go ahead and take these, and I'm also gonna take the buckshot because why not? Uh, we are going to let's see, put this here. We'll put this here here and here so we've got we can make quite a bit of ammo and i think what i'm going to do is because to be honest uh i've got plenty of ammo for the machine gun eight thousand um i've got over 500 uh with the sniper and i don't plan on using it willy-nilly so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make as much uh, shotgun shell as we can we're gonna make as uh, a decent amount of nine mil but we're also gonna make some more uh, uh, we're gonna make one more uh, box of this so get another hundred of that uh, put this up to three thousand so nine boxes of that and the rest is gonna go into nine mil so but that should literally we shouldn't need much more than that and so the rest is gonna go into nine mil and you know what how, how many of these can I make 35 that's it's 3,500 rounds. I don't know if the uh, turrets can take it. So we're just going to go ahead. 71. 177 minutes. Holy moly. All right. Well, it's unfortunate, uh, but that will give us extra ammo if we were to ever need it in the future. But that takes away all of our bullet casings and bullet tips. We still have plenty of gunpowder left. Let's see. Where are we at here? Let's go ahead and take all of that. 200 another 230 so we still got plenty of uh fuel so 20 minutes we need to come back we're gonna do some more work on the horde base and then come back get some more uh stuff we'll see if those uh we'll see if those turrets will take the uh ap and the high power all right, preliminary work is done. Let's give you a tour. So, uh, upgraded pretty much all the base to steel. Uh, I've got a, about 600 more make making, so I can make, uh, what, 600? That's uh, 60, 60 more, which is really sad because I can only upgrade with what I've got right now, about 27 more blocks. Um, the goal is the entire runway here is going to be uh, steel, same on this side, which this side already is, which I could go ahead and do this right now. But what I am going to do, knock out these blocks, which fortunately the HD Auger does a very good job of doing. Makes quick work of these, which is nice. Um, and of course, we are going to do the same thing to the run up uh, to where the horde base is. But I'll do that in just a second. But as you can see, the zombies, when they come up, they're going to path this way. We've got electric fences. We've got blade traps. HD blade traps all the way through here, but there are two lanes for them to go since we've got three here. Uh, I didn't want to build up anything right here, to be honest. Um, I am afraid that jumpers will try to jump across. Uh, I'm considering putting up 
uh, fences here, but it's still they're still going to try to shoot through them. But same on this side. We've got uh, regular traps, then we've got HD blade traps, electric fences, we've got auto turret, we've got SMG, shotgun, SMG, shotgun, SMG, shotgun. And basically what these are going to do is, and same on this side, we're going to aim them in three different directions. One's going to be going this way and one's going to be going this way. The other is going to be going uh, inward this way. Actually, sorry, uh, that one will be going that way. This one will be going that way. And these ones will be going this way. And then same on this side. And then the blade traps will cut them up. But by the time they get here, they are going to meet the arsenal of shotgun turret, shotgun turret, SMG turret, SMG turret, shotgun turret, shotgun turret, shotgun turret. SMG turret. So with uh, the uh, the old trusty sledge right there. So um, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be trap central. I really wanted to put together something uh, pretty significant this time around, uh, just to see if I could uh, make something that would take out most if not all zombies before it even got close to me and uh, I, I like where this is going right now um, all the way across we've got the uh, electric traps uh, I've never tested to see if the actually hurt like the the turrets or anything like that but to be honest with the redundancy that we have I'm really not ultra worried about how much damage especially it's gonna do the HD blade traps but how much damage it'll do to the uh, uh, turrets is kind of worrying only because they only have about a thousand hit points each. So, something to think about. But, uh, that is literally going to do it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.